What's up, fight fans? I'm Jay Cotto, and welcome to the Boxing and Jedi's Temple. And basically, man, I'm going to share with you today exactly how Disney has finally fucking killed the Star Wars franchise and every other fucking franchise that's yet to come. Um, I just want to say, you know, listen, fuck you SJWs, fuck all you fucking stupid millennials with the agenda, not all millennials because I have family and friends, you know, but the ones that make sense, you know, are, 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 are you know, making sense, but you stupid motherfuckers, all of you guys that are just fucking shit up, all of you shills, everybody, I mean, you know, I just basically got a big fuck you. And that's coming from the Star Wars fans starting from 77 on. Because, you, you you know, you guys are pieces of shits. Okay, well, Ryan Johnson's bullshit Star Wars trilogy was just announced. And, you know, I can understand the divide. There is a huge divide. There's a huge fucking divide. There's been a fucking huge divide. There's been a huge divide since people started their fucking agendas. You know, um, you know, it, 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 it all started... From Star Wars, Marvel, and future Fox franchises, X Men. You know, it, it's a, you know, it's it's all about money for these guys, and they just have one formula. Okay, they only have one formula. If if one thinks that this will be better or epic, or it will fix Star Wars in any way, you're absolutely positively wrong. You're fucking wrong. You're wrong. And it's, it's, it's finally come down to this. Okay. It goes to show you that the Palpatine laugh was all that they needed to go ahead and announce Ryan's three part diarrhea trilogy. Okay. And fuck the person who gave me a thumbs down on the last video that I dropped because the sound was a bit too, but fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know who you are. You know what I mean? You're still on the strap. You got to stop it. You know, it, it, it just gets to the point. If you're just an SJW who dropped it because you don't like what I'm saying, fuck Ryan Johnson. Fuck Kathleen Kennedy. Fuck fucking Iger. Okay? I'm going to continue to say it. Now, the laugh is all it took for sellouts to just jump the fuck on. Sellouts here on YouTube. You know, the ones that promised that when they go over to Star Wars Celebration, they were going to say things. and it, Yeah, right. Now... They're all exposed as well. It, it, it comes down to Disney making a disgusting move and actually just listening to these SJWs. And it's amazing how the fish hook just grabbed all these feeble-minded people, man. It's, it's just fucking amazing. It's amazing. They put the laugh out there. And that's all it took. And the fucking sellouts all happy. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, all right. And then you know, plain, you know, it's it's all a fucking gimmick. You know, they push back Avatar two another year just so they can make room for Rise of the Skywalker follow ups. Now, what they fail to realize is that they're doing this without even understanding that the shit you're about to drop. This bullshit may not be successful. The reason why The Last Jedi, the last piece of shit, made money at the box office, okay, was because of pure curiosity that was bought by the usage of old nostalgia and a lot of empty promises of Skywalker, you know. They started with a good story. Now... Avatar 2 through 5 has been planned as if we really are excited to see something that continuously gets pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Now, future films and business students can definitely learn from all of these lethal fucking mistakes that, you know, that can kill a franchise. You know, they can they, they can take it in their films and economics class and shit. You know, and, and they can learn how not to fuck a franchise up. Now, when Disney falls, it will be heard all around the fucking world. Okay. But for now, you know, they are just a fucking monopoly. People are saying they're not, they are a fucking monopoly. They are part of the industrial complex and the MK Ultra program. And all of this is fact. Okay. And it's all made up for agendas. This is all being done for agendas. 
the 20 it ha- definitely has to do with the 2020 presidential race why because it's basically what's going on now it's morals versus lawlessness like you know and and, and we are fucking faced off along with this bullshit and we have to see this in everything everything within what we once knew as our culture everything it just ripped it right in half from our movies to our commercials music books entertainment entertainment in a whole these people have just basically taken over and put their fucking agendas no matter what it is right in our shit now the reason why they are successful as well is because of these fucking shills who are calling other people shills and basically they they sell on to the masses with their lies and their emotional pleas especially they start copping pleas when they get caught out there and exposed and they try to make themselves look good these guys are doing what these SJWs are doing they are SJWs themselves man the fans who convert so easily and tire is because they've never actually fought for something in their fucking pathetic lives, man. They never stood up for anything. So they tire quickly with it and they just they just go with the role. You know? They go with the role. Now, I've already made my pledge and others that I've known to the real George Lucas films. To the real prequel trilogies and to the originals. Now, it's a done deal for me. Okay? And it should be to you. The, 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 the shit that they're trying to present to us is not the Star Wars of today. It's not. It is not. The science is wrong. The stories are wrong. The writers are wrong. And the head of Kennedy Films is definitely wrong. Not Lucas Films. Kennedy Films. And wrong will never bring us any type of truth or happiness. It won't. So... If they don't understand Star Wars, they basically try to change it. That's what they do. They try to change it. So basically, hashtag Disney don't know shit about Star Wars. After you let them have it, hashtag that. Disney don't know shit about Star Wars. Otherwise than that, I'm your boy Jay Cotto telling you the truth. Within the sport of boxing, the movies, Star Wars, and life itself. God bless. Stay vigilant. Hashtag come back to boxing. May the force be with you. Peace.